Are your Gorilla Tag thumbnails looking like this? Well, after watching today's video, you can say goodbye to those thumbnails. Before we start this video, there are requirements. Number one, you need a PC or a laptop. Number two, you need to have the Discord app installed on either your PC or your laptop. Number three, you need Blender. All right, so once you open Blender, you're gonna see this little menu here and you're just gonna click right there. All right, so once you open up Blender, you actually might have trouble moving. So if you wanna use the WASD control, I'm gonna show you exactly how to move. You're gonna go to Edit, Preferences. You're gonna put Walk, put Save, put Preferences, but right click. And you're gonna go ahead and put a sign shortcut. You're gonna go ahead and put the left mouse click. And now whenever you press the left mouse you're able to move wasd and it's just easier to move all right so now let's go ahead and get the gorilla tag models and the gorilla tag map all right so the second link in the description is going to be nacho engines discord server you're going to see the download section all right so first let's go ahead and download the map so unfortunately as of recording there's no map of the latest gorilla tag update so you can just go ahead and download the latest map and then for the gorilla tag rig and it's going to be right here there's actually two different gorilla rigs number one and number two so i'm going to show you how to get number two so unfortunately it's not in any of the channels it's actually very deep in the art renders channel you're going to go up here to the search bar and search this and then you should find an art renders chat click and then you can download both all right so going to the downloads folder on your computer you're going to find the grid tag map that you just downloaded depending which one you downloaded you're going to double click and you're going to see the blender symbol double click again it's going to open all right so you're going to see this gray and you're not gonna see any color so okay so you're gonna go up here you're gonna find four different buttons of the shading settings so if we click on this one we're gonna be able to see the color and if we click on this last one over here this is what it's gonna look like when it renders all right so the first thing we need to start our blender thumbnail is a camera because if we go up here to render and we render the image we can't so let's go to add camera and boom now to easily locate it, you can go ahead and press the camera icon right over on the right. I'm gonna go ahead and put it where I'm gonna put the thumbnail. All right, now let's go ahead and add our gorilla. Me personally, I'm gonna use the second gorilla that I explained in the video because it just has better lighting and it's just so much better. Go up here to file a pen make sure you're on downloads scroll all the way down until you find the gorilla rigs this is gorilla number one and these are the gorilla number twos so i'm gonna go ahead and download the blue gorilla a pen and now you're gonna be brought here you might be wondering how the flip do i what do i do you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find the folder that says object double click go all the way down and then just highlight everything scroll up all the way up to the top hold shift click hold control and then take off the camera because we already have a camera and then append and if you're going to use the gorilla one model i'm going to show you how to append that into this go to file append downloads it's going to be it should be right here double click scroll down until you find object here and then double click the model and then put append now if you get out of camera mode we now see that our gorillas are located all the way over here me personally i'm gonna use the gorilla number two because you can definitely see the difference on how better they look all right so now that we have our gorilla selected let's go ahead and bring it on over to our camera so go all the way back to your camera and then i don't know if there's an easier way to do this but just drag it and by the way i forgot to mention this is the toolbar here if it doesn't show it might be hiding so you can just pop it right out this is the move tool and this is the rotating tool so that we're able to rotate it all right so now we have our gorilla but there is an issue his hands are in the ground so let's fix that you're gonna go ahead and hold shift and select this circle or anything that's highlighting in orange right now go ahead and go up here to object mode click that and put pose mode hold shift and click whatever you want to move now you might notice something that both arms are moving at the same time and i only want one moving so what you do is go all the way up here and click this x now one is moving and a lot of things that i see a lot of people make a mistake of is that the gorilla is so far away from the camera that does not look good it's better if it's close up all right so now i finished posing my gorilla let's get it out of pose mode so that i'm able to edit this object mode and now let's move that down all right to edit the name just press tab on your keyboard and delete 
And then to get out of typing, just press tab again. Now let's go ahead and change the face of the gorilla. Go to shading. So unfortunately you can't change the color for this gorilla model, but for the red model you can. But the issue with that one, you can't change the face. Huh? It's a little confusing, but in Photoshop, I do know a way on how to change the color of the gorilla fur, and I can show you that in a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and change the face. You're gonna click on the gorilla model, and you're gonna see this little orange box here. You're just gonna X that. In the description, I am gonna link this gorilla faces Google Drive. You can go ahead and download a couple of these. Or in Nacho Engine's Discord server, sometimes people do send faces that you can just click on and save the image. All right, so once you download the faces, go and press open. You should see the faces that you downloaded. What is this? What did I what did I download? So on your keyboard, you can press F12 to see the render. All right, that's pretty nice. But we can change a little bit of something. There is something that you don't have to do, but if you click on the name tag, go to emission, change it to like a light color, put strength a little bit up, and it's like a bright, like, you know, it glows. You can make it like different colors too. All right, now our gorilla is looking a little bald here. Let's go ahead and add some cosmetics to it. Go back to layout. In the description, I am gonna link a Sketchfab blender add-on which should link you to here if you scroll down a bit you just you should see releases click on that download the zip go back to blender edit references add-ons install download search sketchfab and there should be only one that pops out which is the sketchfab plugin 161 and install the add-on then go here and search up sketchfab and make sure this box is checked and then go ahead and put save now, if you go to the side over here on the right, open this up, you should see a Sketchfab tab. It's gonna, it should say this and then log in. And if you don't have an account, go ahead and make one. All right, so let's go ahead and search up Gorilla Tag Cosmetics. All right, so if we click here, we see all the cosmetics that Sketchfab has. And then there actually is another page, so you can just flip through these pages. I'm gonna choose something from the Summer Celebration update and we're gonna go ahead and import that and by the way sketchfab does not only have grill tag models they also have many other models so if you're looking for a monster for your horror video they have it too okay back to our cosmetics let's get out of camera mode and find oh we got teleported to it let's go ahead and stop highlighting everything go right here all right, so same thing we did with the gorilla. We're just gonna drag it on over to the camera. All right, now let's go and put it on the gorilla. And sometimes you might have to make the cosmetics a little bit bigger. So just go over here and press this one and then just scale it up a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the render mode here. If you go to the world, you can make the world like a bit darker or then super light. If you go ahead and click on an area, which is the light and go on the light bulb, you can lower the light a bit. These lights can be a little bit bright and boom, it looks pretty nice. All right, so now we have our gorilla inside of the Photoshop. You're gonna go ahead and press L on your keyboard so that you can get the lasso tool. Outline the gorilla. Press this half circle here, go to hue and saturation, and you can kind of just change whatever color you want. Now you might notice like some blue spots, but you can easily fix that. All right, go ahead and press I, B, so that you can go on brush. And then the different areas where it's lighter, just press the I tool, so you're able to match the color. And like, you can't even tell, but yeah. 